What up, gang? Matt here. Uh, what's my channel? Oh, yeah. Country Song Teacher or Acoustic Selection. Whatever. Hey, I'm here at the office. I thought I'd do a quick guitar lesson for you guys real fast. How to alter your, your guitar playing. Let's say you know a couple chords. You know my basic four chords, G, C, E minor, D. You might say a Luke Combs song, start out. Sunday morning, man, she was Back and forth the G to C. So one of the things you can do is keep that same timing in your head, but pick. Sunday morning, man, she woke up, hot man. Played it on and on about the time I had. By Tuesday, you could say that girl was good as gone. I say all the time, picking's great because... A, it really works, makes you focus on your timing. B, it makes you uh, clarify, get your chord sound a little bit clearer because this guitar is not that great, but that's besides the point. Because um, it forces you to kind of keep a pattern so you can switch in time. You can type in Matt McCoy finger picking if you want to see what I'm doing there, but I'm just like pinch down, then up, pinch, then pinch. Up. I go pinch, then down with a the thumb, then back up. So that's one exercise. Finger picking, you can do stuff like the track chords. Sunday track chords and you got they're called that because I'm just sliding these two middle fingers up and down the tracks great thing to learn to advance to alter your playing um, you can do the finger picking thing Sunday morning magic. I can do a little more than those four chords. G, C, E minor, D. Not much more, but a little more. Um, uh, and then um, you can do maybe a bar chord. Again, you're going G and C. Sunday morning, man, she woke up. Other thing you can do, obviously, if you want to work on your playing stuff, use the capo. Um, again, you can switch up the key. You might have one guitar playing G and C back and forth, and you over here doing E and A, and you can play together. So have one guitar going G, C, G, C. Sunday morning, man, she woke up fighting man. And you over there going... That's how I the capo on the third fret, and every time the other person's playing no capo a G, you're playing an E. Every time they're playing a C, you're playing that A. 
So that allows you, I'll do a whole lesson on this actually. Allow you to play two guitars. <laughs> And then, last but not least, after you just really, really just advanced on guitar, and you like, man, I just own, I own some guitar. Then you move over. Sunday morning, man, she woke up, fighting me. Two chords over and over. Soon in May, she will See, my hand stays the exact same. Piano teaches you so much about like timing. Tuesday, you can say that girl that is gone. That's why I tell people all the time if, even if you want to advance your guitar playing, learn to learn piano. Learn piano. All right, gang. I gotta run back home. I just had to come in and look for my briefcase, do a quick guitar lesson. You guys check out countrysongteach.com. Also, don't forget, I'm doing that YouTube church over acoustic selection. Uh, this week coming up, I got Brooke Hatalia that's gonna do a special guest song, Amazing Grace, My Chains Are Gone. You're gonna wanna check that out. So it's not this Sunday, but the following Sunday, uh, Brooke Hatalia is gonna do Amazing Grace, My Chains Are Gone before I do my message. So uh, check it out. All right, country song teacher, God bless.